verge of a bed bug epidemic. So horrible. Glasgow and the surrounding areas seem to be the worst offenders, with thousands of pounds worth of damage being caused to landlords and homeowners. To tell us more, we're joined by Yasser Rashid of City Pest Solution. Yasser, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Now, this is just a bit horrible, but how do you know if you have bed bugs? I guess the first thing that people notice is that they're getting rashes or bites on their body. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then they start to investigate the cause and um, it gets worse with time and that starts to set off alarm bells. Occasionally they'll actually see an insect and with Google being so useful these days they'll just, you know, take you a picture. You can actually see them. Uh, the adults can be, even the, yeah, they can be seen. Adults are quite visible, especially after they're fed, they, they grow a little bit in size. <laughs> oh my goodness. So they, they become quite visible. I don't even know what to know what they feed on. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, us. Um, so how do we get them? Where do they come from? It really is a case of bad luck. It's never something to do with poor hygiene. A lot of, there's a great stigma that um, poor hygiene causes it, or you know it must be your fault. It's not. Anybody can get it of any social economic background. You could be middle class. You could be living in a slum. You could be a millionaire. We've done five star hotels. We've done hostels. We've done uh, ten, ten, tenement flats. We've done. Virtually every scenario you know that you can think of. So is there any way to prevent it then before you get it? Is there any way to make sure you don't get those bugs in your bed? No, because no, there's this, nothing you can because do. They, 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 they spread through our social interaction. The right. fact that um, if you you know if somebody has bed bugs in their home, the moment they get ready for to go to work, you know they're sitting down in their seat at work. They could be, they could be you know dropping bed bugs there. They could be going to meet a friend. They could be dropping off bed bugs there. It's virtually impossible. I had a gentleman on the phone to me today. And two weeks after his last treatment, he says, I've not had any more bites and I've not had, no, we've not cited anything two weeks after the last treatment. Right. Do you think we're clear? I goes, if you've not, two weeks is, you know, is, you know you, there's no way to actually know that he's clear or not, except the traps are clear, he's not had any bites. But he could still very well have them. But at this moment, it, you know, it's, it doesn't look like it's clear. It sounds good, yeah. So how do you treat them? What, treat what is a treatment? Uh, in the UK, uh, the three kind of main kind of treatments, of which two are the most common, are chemical, heat and cold. Uh, chemical treatment involves spraying liquid insecticides uh, over soft furniture, hard furniture, fixtures and things in the building, the floor, the walls, and uh, just about anything that bedrooms can go into, which is almost everything so in a the house. The whole place, the whole house has to get yep. sprayed. Heat treatment, uh, there's two types of heat treatment. You get heat treatment of buildings, where you cook an entire building. Uh, you get <laughs> up, up about 50 degrees Celsius, and that'll kill everything. That's a thermal death point for all stages of a bedrug life cycle, from egg to baby to adult. Okay. Uh, the baby's called a nymph. Uh, and... Uh, also, you can get heat treatment of furniture, which we, we do a lot of, which is uh, a big metal tent, and everything goes in the tent and gets cooked at this temperature. Oh, my goodness. So if you do think you've got bed bugs, you call uh, experts like yourselves in to deal with it. Do not attempt to turn the heating up and heat <laughs> no, the house. No, think that no. you, it needs to be dealt with um, by the proper means. It's, it's, you know, it's not just uh, as a pest controller I'm saying this, but if you go onto the NHS's website or any reputable body's website, they will say that the success rate of DIY treatments is, to the, is so low that it's not worth the risk. Yeah. You should just call a professional, we'll intercept it quickly, uh, deal with it and, and resolve it before it gets worse and cause, costs even more money to fix. Get rid of those bed bugs. Well, oh, yes, it's thank fascinating. You. It's actually terrifying and a little bit disgusting. Crawl? Yes, thank you for joining thank us. You thank, you. thank you very much. Now, we've got to take a break, but do not go anywhere because you'll want to meet the dolls when we come back. For